So have you guys heard about this theory that octopi DNA is not from Earth? No way. That is awesome. Dude, finally proof and that there's aliens out there. I'm so down to hear this. Yay. Hey guys, I'm Dave Wobble. Hi, I'm Charlotte Dobre. And we're talking about something from this Earth that might not be from here. Don't get too excited, Dave, because this whole theory is bogus. Darn it, because I was really kind of hoping that this would absolutely be true. So the story going around the net says that scientists found that DNA from octopi contained 33,000 protein coding genes. Dude, they got 33,000 genes? Man, that's an extensive wardrobe. Ah, so funny. What? Dave, not those kinds of genes. Okay, so this new theory comes from articles that have been posted online. And it says that researchers like Dr. Clifton Ragsdale says that octopi are different from other forms of life on Earth. And that British zoologist Martin Wells stated that octopi are alien. And then he continued to say that these creatures were from space and that octopi were the first sequenced genome from an alien. Yeah, Dave, but truthfully, most of those articles are actually just referencing another article that doesn't actually mention anything about space or aliens. This article was posted back in 2015 and it did have Dr. Clifton Ragslide quoting Martin saying that the octopus was an alien. But that statement is actually a metaphor for how different it looks from creatures that are on earth. And guys, that's why you got to check your facts and don't believe everything you hear online. <laughs> I saw that. I don't know about you, Charles, but personally, I like to believe that life started from outside of this planet. Like, they actually say that Earth and Mars share cosmic dust and debris from explosions from either planet. And that debris shoots from one planet to the other, goes into the solar system, and then it lands on either planet. So they say, hey, wait a minute, we could have actually started on Mars. I'm not really sure about that one, Dave, because cephalopods, like the octopus, have been around for over 470 million years dating way back into the Cambrian period with the earliest form of cephalopod being called the Nautilus. But then again, hey, maybe a comet or asteroid crashed down here back then and dropped these guys off and they started life then. Yeah, but Dave, isn't it also kind of a theory that all life on Earth could be derived from alien life? True. But guys, we want to know your thoughts, but as for this theory, it looks like it's been too Exposed. And exposed. And exposed. 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 Okay. Ex yeah, that, you don't want to do, do that. that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thoughts down there in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos. Hit the subscribe button. I'm Dave Wobble. I'm Charlotte Dubray. Keep it real. Keep it classy. Keep it on the flip side out there in the real world. Bye. Bye.